Hello and thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk to you about upgrading your Facebook business page for the new timeline layout. Timeline will take effect on March the 30th, so you're either watching this before March the 30th and you need some guidance as to what to do, or you're watching it after March the 30th, everything's changed and you need some guidance as to what to do. The implications of timeline are to view. It means that you can use Facebook to do an awful lot of things that you couldn't do before. But today I just want to talk to you about the essential differences in the timeline layout and what you need to do to make sure that your page looks right uh, for visitors under the new system. First of all, when you log into your uh, Facebook page, this is one of our test pages called Better Direct Marketing, uh, you'll see that Facebook uh, have been kind enough to pre-warn you that things are going to change. And the basic things that are going to change are this image here, this profile image on the left-hand side. Uh, there are some rules about what uh, you can and can't do with it, what's replacing it, uh, but this image here will be no more. Um, and also the layout of uh, things like this page applications will be slightly different and uh, actually a little bit easier to navigate from a visitor's point of view. So in order to make the changes, all we need to do is just go up to the preview button that uh, Facebook has made available to all page administrators. Press that. And uh, we can start to see some of the uh, changes uh, to timeline starting to take effect on the page even now. This is just as a preview. Uh, you can go back to your old design at any time up until March the 30th. Um, or if you're happy with the changes that you've made, you can go straight into publishing and just carry on with timeline from today. The first and most significant change you'll see on your page is the cover image. Um, this needs to be a cover photo or image uh, that expresses what your page is about, as it says here on, on the Facebook page. Uh, to add a cover, just click on Add a Cover. It gives you some information as to what to do. I'm going to upload a photo. Um, and I have one here, which I created, which has got our logo in it. Um, and also has a little cartoon in it. I may be riding the ragged edge with this as to what Facebook will allow and won't allow. But seeing as how it's not really a call to action, nor is it trying to direct people to a particular course of action on the page, um, I'm hoping that we're able to get away with it. Just click open. The system will upload the image and place it in the correct position. And there it is there. We can drag and move it about if it's a larger image, um, but I'm quite happy with that, so I'm just going to click Save Changes, and voila, we have a cover image. Great. Moving on, the next thing that will change is the profile picture. Now, uh, you saw that the profile picture we were using before was more of a vertical set. This one is going to be a 180 pixels square. Um, and should really be an image that resizes down to 32 pixels square um, because Facebook are also going to use this image as your profile uh, to associate with your profile when you post. Uh, so it's quite useful for that to be something that's quite recognisable. Um, so let's just click, as it says here, edit profile picture, upload photo. And again, I have one that we've prepared here. And I'm hoping this is going to be big enough. And up it goes. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. OK, so we're quite happy with that. Now, it's interesting to note that you can change this cover image any time you like. Um, Facebook recommend that you don't change this image quite so regularly because it, it obviously becomes part of uh, your online signature on Facebook, if you like. It's the image that people will associate with you. Um, so we've changed that image now. We're quite happy with that. Now, the next thing that we can do is you perhaps notice that we had a couple of uh, page applications operating on the original site. Um, you'll see that these are navigable now here uh, using these buttons here. Um, and indeed, if we click on those, it will take us through to the page. There's a lot we can do with these um, buttons, which I don't really want to go into in this presentation here. But the primary thing that we can do is we can add a logo in here. Um, this is just a placeholder. So if we click on this menu here, you'll see that things are starting to change. And we've got a little 
uh, edit button if you like this little pencil click on here and you can change the settings for this page so we can give this page an image now Facebook wouldn't let you put a call to action in your cover image but they will let you put a call to action in this image here and um, so you could create or have your, your uh, designer create for you an image that contains words like click here like this um, or any call to action that you care to name all we're going to do today is we're just going to give it a little image um, we're going to change the tab image so we click change here okay and change and I'm just going to use my better direct marketing graphic again okay is it will probably resize it I'm hoping click OK and there you have it nice little image in there and we'll just do the same again here just so that you get the hang of it click on the little pencil image click edit settings click change it will open up a new window click change again select the image that you want to use upload it and click OK and there you have it okay so that's essentially how to make the changes to your Facebook business page if you're happy with the images that you've loaded up click on publish now Facebook will ask you if you're sure and there we are and in order to hide this new administration panel that's here which I'll cover in another video just click hide and there's more or less the page that your visitors will see okay and that's how easy it is to change your Facebook business page to the new timeline layout. Thanks for watching.